There's been a whole lot of nothing news behind the scenes of Bond these past couple of years. Mostly news of, we haven't started filming yet, there is no script, nothing is going on. And those then become the only breadcrumbs we're getting and us fans start discussing. Recent Bond news has been in that same vein too. Casting director Debbie McWilliams for instance made some comments on how there indeed is no casting going on at the moment. There is nothing yet. She mentions how the casting process used to go for Daniel Craig with Casino Royale and how they weren't looking for a particularly young Bond in that moment of time. And then that nothing news becomes the news. And the strangest comment to me was how she was quoted in saying you know, it's not unusual for there to be quite a big gap between bonds. It has been known to have a five year gap. So no, nothing. A five year gap? What is she talking about? Lazenby was casted as the new bond in the standard two year gap after Connery. So was Roger Moore, just two years after Diamonds Are Forever. So was Timothy Dalton, only two years after A Few to a Kill. For Brosnan, of course, he's correct, but not because the filmmakers wanted to, plus they had multiple scripts ready in this particular period. It was only delayed because of the lawsuits and the legal fights Eon was in in the early 90s, so that one really doesn't count. Craig was casted in a four-year gap, so what does he mean it has been known to have a five-year gap? It just seems like such a delusional comment trying to rationalize how they still have nothing going on. It reminded me of that one comment that Michael G. Wilson made when they didn't have a title yet for Bond 25. Oh, dare I say, like, do, do we have a title but completely nothing at the moment? Bond 25. No, I can't remember the last time we had a title when we announced the beginning of the film. Another throwaway comment that had the opposite evidence. Anyway, apart from news, we also get the usual rumors you just have to take with a grain of salt. Like those Aaron Taylor Johnson rumors, which clearly weren't based on anything either. But the latest is Phoebe Waller-Brits is supposedly Barbara Broccoli's top choice at the moment. But then, as soon as I want to talk about that, these other rumors float about of Denis Villeneuve being the frontrunner to direct Bond 26. I don't know how these things come to life. We know there is nothing going on behind the scenes of Bond. Barbara is mentioned to be quite occupied with whatever other stuff she has going on. But Bond definitely doesn't have priority for her at the moment, it seems. So again, this stuff really is Nothing. But let's just discuss both of these nothings. First of all, the Phoebe Waller-Bridge rumors. She contributed in the writing for No Time to Die. Even though this is just a rumor, I wouldn't be surprised of her getting involved again. We know Barbara Broccoli is a fan of her and would probably indeed consider bringing her back for Bond 26. Maybe even at the helm this time. Even if there are people out there who are fans of Phoebe Waller-Bridge's writing, you gotta wonder, what experience would she have directing action? I am all for getting the first woman to direct a Bond film if she happens to be a great choice with great understanding of Bond and a clear vision of what to do with the character. But Phoebe Waller-Bridge even admitted she knew very little about it not so long ago. Her writing mostly seems to just cater to social justice fans and keep everything in line with progressive thinking. You can totally identify those moments in No Time to Die she contributed on. Really not being part of the plot, but being brought in out of left field so audiences can do a little social justice air punch. I, I do not need a laboratory to exterminate your entire race from the face of the earth. Do you know what time it is? What? Time to die. I mean, I just find myself eye-rolling at those moments. It's so in your face, like, this is the 2020s, we need to do liberal thinking, and here's a reminder. And for me, it just falls flat. Not to hate on anyone who feels opposite on me on this, but to me, instead of bringing in a female director who gets Bond and is passionate about him, 
What would make someone who even stated she knows very little about James Bond the top choice? Because to me, that just sounds like catering to progressive thinking for the sake of just that. Instead of actually focusing on the potential quality she could bring to direct a James Bond film. I think the focus should be on what would Bond fans like to see in a Bond film. Instead of what kind of ideology could we bring to the franchise to update it in line of thinking of today. So no, if these rumors held any merit, they don't excite me personally. Then there is the Denis Villeneuve rumors, also supposedly the number one choice of Barbara Broccoli. So I guess they're both her number one choice according to these rumors then. Of course for No Time To Die his name got dropped too. Craig supposedly really wanted him at the time but he was doing Doom. In 2021 he starred in some podcast called Happy Sad Confused and he admitted he is a huge Bond fan and stated but the answer would be a massive yes. I would deeply love to one day make a James Bond movie. It's a character that I've been with, like everybody, since my childhood. I have massive affection for Bond. It would be a big challenge for people to try and reboot it after what Daniel did. What Daniel Craig brought to Bond was so unique and strong and probably unmatchable. He's the ultimate James Bond. I can't wait to see Carrie's movie. I'm very excited. I'm one of the biggest Bond fans. So at least he seems much more of a fan of the series. I know fans would want to see him at the helm to direct a Bond film. And yeah, while I'm kind of neutral on him myself, that rumor would excite me more than Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Personally, I would still advocate for a dream choice that would never happen. Like Christopher Nolan doing an amazing trilogy in the vein of The Dark Knight for Bond. Or maybe Martin Campbell. The one man who directed arguably the two best debuts for both Brosnan and Craig and is among the people responsible of updating and saving the franchise twice. I guess he's getting on a bit though. So what do you guys make of these rumors? Would you want Phoebe Waller-Bridge or Denis Villeneuve to direct Bond 26 or would you have different choices too? Please like and subscribe and keep your eyes on the subscriber feed for next weekend when I'm finally planning to release the big one. Better click the bell icon for that one. See you guys in the next video.